Hello and happy holidays from Cookbook Divas. This is Carrie, and today I want to look through the great British baking show, A Bake for All Seasons. It was my Christmas present to myself because I hinted to my boyfriend and he didn't get the hint. So this is with recipes by Paul Hollywood, Prue Leith, and the bakers. Let's check it out. Woo! Colorful. Off to a good start. I think it just came out recently in late 2021. And the chapters are spring, summer, autumn, and winter. And some conversion tables and cook's notes in the back. And baking tips and techniques in the back. A note from Paul and a note from Prue. And here's the bakers. That might have been a spoiler. Who won? I don't know. An introduction that I'll read later. So if you're new to this channel, here at Cookbook Divas, we get cookbooks and we look through them for the first time on video. So this is the first time I've experienced it too. Here's the bakers and info about them. And a baker's kitchen, a list of things we should have on hand, a spring form pan, Swiss roll tins, tart and tartlet tins, tray bake tins, etc. Metal spoons, oven thermometers, etc. Here's a baker's larder. We should have baking powder, butter, butter and other fats, lard, not in my house, I'm vegetarian, dairy-free spreads for some people, dried fruit, eggs, of course, nuts, sugar, blah, blah, blah. Let's keep going. Let's get to spring. Now, I can't show you the whole book. That wouldn't be fair to the author and publisher, but I'm going to pull out some highlights as we go. Here's the recipes for spring. First recipe of the book is a gorgeous primrose and lemon cake. Love it. And let's see how this is formatted. It has for the sponge on the side, for the primrose and lemon syrup, for the primrose and lemon curd. Lots of instructions and a little... Let's see what they say. I'll just read the first paragraph here where they're introducing the primrose cake. It says, yellow primroses are such a welcome sign that spring has arrived. These delicate edible blooms have a subtle floral aroma that pairs perfectly with the tangy sharpness of lemon. If you can't source wild primroses, you can use edible yellow primula, which often have a stronger flavor. Make the syrup and curd in advance if you like and keep it in the fridge for up to a week. Okay, good to know. I'm going to skip some of these other recipes, but you have to see this rhubarb and custard tart. Gorgeous. Asparagus ham and cheese Danish pastries. So we're doing savory too. Good, good, good. I thought it was just going to be desserts. I'm glad I was wrong. However, lots and lots of instructions on that asparagus tart. That's a lot of work. And I don't know how to pronounce that, so I'm going to skip it. Here's a beautiful ruby grapefruit bunt. That would be so cute at a tea party. Here's some mini rolls. Cherry blossom shortbreads. Oh my gosh. Cute. Okay. Oh, here's another savory. Let's see what it is. It is a Pizza Bianca di Primavera. Yum. I actually had a terrible Trader Joe's pizza last night. I usually like Trader Joe's pizza when I'm too lazy to make my own. Mini hummingbird cakes and a cute little person eating them. Passion fruit souffles. For those of you brave enough to do souffles, are you? Let me know in the comments. Mango and coconut upside down cake. My boyfriend loves mango. A spiced lamb and spinach phyllo pie. We're still in spring, and I'm skipping over some good stuff because I can't show you the whole book. Here's hamantaschen, which I think is for perm. And now we're in summer, my favorite season. I love all seasons, but summer here in Seattle, we have a beautiful one. Peach Bellini cake. We just need a break from the rain. Paul's Jammy Biscuits. Ooh, here's some pretty things I'm not going to show you. A gooseberry roulade. Here's chocolate and raspberry cheesecake brownies. Freya's Pina Colada Custard Slice. I'm skipping ahead. I'm skipping ahead. Dairy-free mango ice cream sandwiches. Good to know. I want to see some savory stuff. Oh, chocolate and raspberry ruffle wedding cake. Summer is definitely wedding season, isn't it? Cheese, ham, and piccalilli pasties. I don't know what piccalilli is. I'll find out later. Prue's Sable Breton. That is gorgeous. 
Here we go. Here's savory feta, oregano, and sun-dried tomato knots. And here's something called cruffins. <laughs> Quick and easy berry jam. Oh my gosh. Amanda's lemon and elderflower pellet cake. And a picture of flowers. Now we're in autumn. Here's the recipes. Banana tahini and caramel loaf. I don't care for tahini, for tahini that much. I will eat it. A beautiful pear walnut cake. I'd like to see some of the seed. Look at all the directions on that cake. That's very complicated. <laughs> okay. Giuseppe's celebration cake. Pumpkin rolls. Oh, that would be the first thing I would make out of this book. That is adorable. I might need to see a video on how to make them. Wow. Here's a double chocolate beetroot devil's food cake. Okay, this cookbook is fabulous. I am highly recommending it. Prue's vegan sausage rolls. I would make those. I'm vegetarian. Not vegan, but a toffee apple cake. Gorgeous. Ooh, are these samosas? Vegetable samosas. Oh, I love this cookbook. I've never made my own samosas because I wasn't quite sure what to put it in them other than omitting meat. Feta, grape, and fennel focaccia. I'm actually making a focaccia tonight, but I think I'll skip the fennel because I don't care for that flavor and I can't have grapes in the house because of my dogs. Here's Jurgen's Pear and Chocolate Charlotte. That is gorgeous. A pecan pie. We all know what pecan pies look like, but that's a gorgeous photo. Whoever did the photography of this is amazing. Paul's Ciabatta Breadsticks. Do we have any more savory before we leave? Blackberry pie crumble cake, apple and quince chalsons. Did I say that right? And let's keep going. I was hoping to see a savory, but no, nope. now we are in full on winter. Let's see if they've done any showstoppers for Christmas. Recipes, parsnip, maple and pecan cake. I don't think I need any parsnips in my dessert, but thank you. Paul's caramel biscuit bars. And, oh my goodness, dark masala and stout Christmas cake. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm going to not show you anything else from this chapter because I want it to be a surprise when you look through your book. So I hope you enjoyed the sneak peek through A Bake for All Seasons by the Great British Baking Show. You can see more cookbook look-throughs and reviews at cookbookdivas.com, which is our blog. We post cookbook news to Facebook and cookbook reels to Instagram, and of course, video reviews on YouTube. Be sure to click like, subscribe if you want to, drop us a nice comment, and that will teach the algorithms from social media gods to show you more of our posts. Thanks so much for watching, and happy holidays!